Good morning, family. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new vlog. If you're new, my name is Peggy. Welcome to All Things Peggy. And as always, my special guest is none other than Donald Winley. <laughs> What's going on, fam? Y'all, I am suffering from this breakup that I had with Walmart last week. I am suffering because I would not be at the store today if I could get my order, you know, yeah. delivery. I miss it. I ain't gonna lie. I miss it. But anyway, uh, we are out here. It is a nice, cool morning. I, I predicted the weather correctly this time. Finally. You know, often I tell Peggy, oh, it's not that bad or it's a little yeah. too cold or something like that, but... She dressed, we dressed better today. Yeah, I had to pull out the old jacket, but it's not really cold. It says it's like 52, but it feels more like 62 almost. Mm -hmm. I want to share something with you guys. All right. Since I'm the special guest this morning. All right, be the special guest. I'm going to tell you all the hardest part about waking up early with a wife that wakes up around 8.15. <laughs> I got up about 5.20 this morning. You know, I got up, read the news, walked DJ. It's only about 6.30, now it's about 7 o'clock. Now you're hungry. Mm. And so I have this special uh, way of making my Eggo waffles every morning. I throw them in the toaster, they pop out, put a little square of butter, pour some syrup on them, throw them in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And they perfect, try it one day. You won't believe how much noise it takes to make some waffle. The refrigerator, I opened the refrigerator for the waffle. There's a big rubber seal that just like a big popping sound when I open it up. I tried to grab a fork. All the forks are twisted together, so it, like it shook up all the forks. You talking the dishwasher? No, out the uh, out the tray. It was all like twisted together for some reason. Okay, so he must. Other. So now that happens because when he emptied the dishwasher, he didn't separate them like I do. <laughs> Thank you for doing that for me because I, when I clean the kitchen at night, that's what I do. I, I run the dishwasher at night while we're sleeping. So when I get up in the morning. I unload the dishwasher. That's the first thing I do every morning is unload the dishwasher. That's what I try to do. But I guess it must have been in there for a couple of days if he had to do it. <laughs> so anyway, back to the story. Because you always got to defend myself. Always. But I wasn't okay. trying to make a statement or yes, anything he was. like that. Yes, he was. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, the, the even the waffles themselves were in a little plastic bag that make the most possible noise. And I've told him a million times he can wake me because if I was in the kitchen cooking, oh, you're going to hear some pot <laughs> well, I'm going to be cool with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... all, all he has to do is shut the bedroom door. That's it. When you first get up in the morning, when you leave, I wish he would. Look, we're coming to y'all with our problems yet again. Here we come <laughs> no again with our problems. <laughs> no but problem. this is what I would like for him to do because when him and DJ has become my best friend now, yeah. he, he loves me now. Yeah. Like he wants to cuddle with me. So I think exactly I think right. slowly he's coming on over to the Peggy side because he used to love Donald and didn't want to have nothing to do with he me. He still love me. He but... still do, but he likes me better. He loves Donald. That but he is likes so me wild. Better. But anyway, <laughs> that's why I say I wish he would shut the door because. When they go walking in the morning, and it just never fails. He walks DJ about 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So after they've come in the building, DJ runs into the bedroom with full force. And ain't full that for the apartment so, so small. And he's shaking the bed. Shaking the bed. I guess he said, get up, Peggy. We're back. Like, if get that, up. If that bed was lower, he would run and jump right onto that yeah. bed. I'm glad it's not lower. He can't get on. Because <laughs> we had one of those beds... Uh, what do you call them that you don't need the um, box spring? Oh, the sleigh a platform bed. bed. Oh, a platform. Well, a platform bed. You don't need the box spring, but I went about the uh, I went about the box spring because it just gives you that much more. Uh, it gives you that much more support, and so uh, you know we partnered with the mattress, a uh, Brooklyn bedding, Brooklyn yeah. bedding, and they have the best mattresses. So oh, anyway. Wow. It feels so good, but the bed has gone up like six inches. Yeah. And so he really, we could barely see his head under there. So when he runs, I mean, as soon as Donald opened that door from his walk, he running <laughs> full force into that bedroom. And he going to shake it on the left side, at the foot, and then at the right side. And then he going to go get his snack and he going to run back in there and do it again. Like, we're here. We're here. Get up. We're here. And I'm like, I wish when Donald get up in the morning, because I never know when he get up. Like, when I roll over, I'm like, oh. 
He I got the whole bed by myself. Okay, so then I spread out. But if he would shut the door when he leaves, he wouldn't have to worry about making noises with That's the true. pots and pans and opening bags and stuff like that. Now, I think he don't mind because he know if he hears that kind of thing, oh, I'm about means, to be rewarded. Yeah, she, she get they can make cook, some grits and, grits yeah. and gravy or something. And so he's happy about it. But me, I'm like, and he always... These are the little fights we have, y'all. I call them. I call them fun fights. Little fun fights. Okay. I call them fun fights. Cause I'm like, he leaves that one light on. In the when hallway. I'm leaving, when I'm laying in the bed and I open my eyes, I can see that light. And I'm saying to myself, why does he? And he does it every day. Well, I have told him a million times. It's two lights he leaves on: that hallway light and then the light by your room door. Yes. And I'm just like. I think he do it purposely, oh. but he say he doesn't. <laughs> he say he don't. So she gonna take my word for it. I don't do it personally, fam. But I feel like he does. All the do lights this. are bad. If the door is open, though, if the door is open, all the lights seep in some kind of way. So the, I need to close that door. Okay, so here's my. Th this is what I'm telling Donald. I'm like, quit giving the power company money. When he leaves in the morning, I guarantee you, it's six lights on. The closet light, the bathroom light, the bedroom light, the two hall lights, and the kitchen light. Stories. And I'm just like, dude, get get your life together. Get your life. <laughs> so what what I wake up in the morning, you know what I do, right? I walk around the house and turn off all the lights. And I'm like, if he would just open the blinds in the morning, he would get all that fresh light and him and DJ could just be amazing. They can always come into the room and open the blinds. If I'm just chilling in the room on a Saturday or something like that. She wants to come in. Why is it so dark in here? Just open the blind. I'm not. I don't care about the. Uh, well, here's the, the thing. He light. got the light on, but it's still dark. Uh, and I'm like, if you turn the light off. Yes. It, see, you know what? Right now we're sounding like uh, <laughs> Rochelle. Rochelle and, and the dad on Everybody Hates Chris. You leave these lights on, you wasting another fifty cent. That that's how I feel. It's Thirty-seven cent worth of power. You just wasted. Exactly. <laughs> so that's how we did not. I, I am a spendthrift. I, I will spend the I'm, money. Hey, so I ain't gonna lie. I am proud but of when, it. But when it, it comes to like the power bill, you know, stuff like that, I don't want to waste that money yeah. like that. <laughs> I just want to share that story. Look at us coming, coming here telling y'all our problems. <laughs> yeah. If these are the worst problems we got, then we are a very, very blessed couple. Okay. There you go. You know, so things was, happen. So how was Walmart in there since you couldn't do your little This Walmart order? was a little, you know what, this little Walmart, we've never been, have we been here? It's been a while. Yeah, we haven't done no grocery shopping here. We came in and got some stuff for the so cruise that this, one time. This Walmart is a little different than most Walmarts because they have it set up like a, a mall. Yeah. So Did you they, see the dining room table they had set up? I, I didn't go I should have got far. a video of They had a whole fully yeah. decorated dining room set. It was so nice. When you go to the baby section, they got the beds all made up. And, you know, normally when you go, they just have it in boxes and stacked up. But no, they, they have a stylist in there. Yeah. And so the bed is made and showing you all the things that you could do. Right? Yeah. And like throughout the store, like when you go to the women's section, they got the mannequins dressed up with how you could look in this section. Yeah. And they have it for the men too. So this store, that's why it took me so long. Oh. Because this store is not made like the rest. Because normally if you go to a Walmart, nobody, even when we were on the RV, I noticed it. Every Walmart was set up exactly the same yeah. way. So you could always go find what you, that's what I loved about Walmart. <laughs> Any, anytime you go in there, you're going to find the same thing. If, if they say, our eggs are on our eight eggs is on our eight throughout the <laughs> whole world right but this one is this a one little is different. bit different so is it worse like or bad or is, it, okay no it's worse for me because like okay. now i gotta look for stuff okay but uh it's, yeah. it's pretty it's pretty and it's very well organized you got a lot of helpers and stuff like that like this is the first walmart i've been to where you can ask for help and somebody is like right there it felt like a target in there no they can uh -uh. It, it felt like it to me with the little mannequins and and the, and the decor set they up. They could and stuff. never. They could never. No. They, Blast they, for me. Yeah. They could never. <laughs> it felt like a Target to me when I walked in. I walked in Walmart, for like about five look, minutes. Walmart could never be like Target, but I, with the exception <laughs> of, of this location, and they probably got more. Mm -hmm. Now, if they were all set up like this one, 
then I would say they're trying to be oh, like an emulation, if you will. Yeah, because like Whataburger tries to be like uh, Chick Fil A. Yeah, they try. It's, they just won't get it right. They don't get it right. They tried, but they couldn't get. Cause like one guy, you know, the truck is huge, so he squeeze he squeezed. Is it squeeze or squoze? Squeezed in between <laughs> the truck and the window, and he knocked on the window. And he was like, "This ain't my order," and he walked away. <laughs> yeah, a dude that was in front of us walked between us and the drive-through window while he we was said, at the drive-through window. He's like, "This ain't my order. I ordered X, Y, Z." And he so, looked so short. He didn't he even did. come well, to the, the bottom of the window. So good. The truck is so good. But anyway, and then he just walked away and went and sat in his car. And I was like, so now here's a traffic jam because it's two cars in front of us and now it's us. Mm -hmm. We can't get around because they're bringing people on the next side of us. They're exactly. Food. So what they're doing is taking, they got people standing outside taking orders and stuff like that. So the stand outside orders are to the right of us. So we can't get around. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, so here come this traffic jam. Yeah. But it wasn't so bad though. We but went to anyway, a Canes yeah. that tried that too. There was a Canes out there uh, yeah. in uh, New Caney or some area that tried that. They just they can't they can't do the uh, Chick Fil A thing. But as WalMarts go, mm -hmm. this is one of the better WalMarts. Yeah, I I'm t I don't like Walmart because of the Walmartians. Have y'all y'all should look Wal up Walmartians on YouTube or it might be on Facebook. And I promise you, the Walmartians is what they call it. Just I've seen some things at Walmart too, and I'm sure there's been a time or two when I came in here, I probably would have made the Walmartians <laughs> list. But yeah, th this is this has been a great uh, experience so far. I chose this one because it's closer to Aldi. Do you still want to go to Aldi's? I do. I need to go to Aldi. Yeah, I'm looking for jackfruit. I was in there asking for oh. monk fruit. I was in there asking for monk fruit. Oh. And they was like, monk fruit? We don't sell no monk fruit. <laughs> they do sell jackfruit, but jackfruit has to be mailed. You can't buy it. Oh, you got to order it online. Yeah, or but here's the thing. One can is $45. And I'm like, yeah, you, you won't be getting my money. You can get that from somebody else. I can't. Uh, what? Yeah. $45. And I was like, no. So I told Donald, I was like, we should go to like a farmer's market or something. And maybe I could get a fresh new jackfruit or something okay. like that. Or we could go to the woodlands to the fresh market. I bet they have it. Oh, Fresh Mart. Okay. It's over there by the, the Earl of Sandwich. That the little sandwich shop. Oh, he's about uh, Trader Joe's or yeah. something. Yeah. Listen. I need to take my health seriously. Like I'm, I'm tired of playing at this point. Like I am so, I want to be healthy. So, but like I'm not unhealthy, but I'm not healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in between. And Donald and I have always had this conversation that we want to be our healthy self, so that as we age, he won't. If we can help it, he don't want to have to push me in a wheelchair. Or I don't want to push him in a wheelchair. Like. We want to be our healthy selves. Yeah, right? we don't have to put around an oxygen tank or oh, anything. I like have that. to walk with a cane. Now, some things you can't help. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be all right with a cane. I, and I'm not, because I have to say this, because some of y'all get in these comments and you misunderstand everything I'm saying. For Donald and I, we want to be a little more healthy, mm. right? And so I look at my son. He has zero body fat. Damn. He is the healthiest person I know. He had COVID and didn't even know he had it. Mm -mm. But I mean, you know, let me tell you, it, it took the whole COVID, took that whole house down, but it didn't have a fighting chance with him. No. He was he was back to himself in like two, three days. Everybody else was down for 14 plus. Yeah. But anyway, I've been watching Tabitha Brown. And she has the most delicious recipes because by the end of this year, my goal is to be 100% vegan. I want to be vegan. I just, I, I, it's been on my mind for years, but I just want to try it. So like, I'm going to, you know, wean myself into it. Like start off maybe once a week having a vegan day. And then, you know, build up from there. Like once a week, I'll have it. Then after I'm good with that, then maybe I'll go to twice a week with it. You know, stuff like that. I, I can do, see now, I can do the no red meat. Like I can go, with, I can cut out beef and pork, which are usually the, the, considered the worst. Uh -huh. 
so you get like a, fish get a piece and, of baked fish or baked chicken yeah. every once in a while i yeah. can do that but but yeah that's about as far as i can you know cut all no, the i'm not asking to, but that's what i'm saying like i want to make the food so good that he doesn't realize he's eating vegan because it can happen it can happen. I'm, we we gonna get us a vegan meal today. He don't even know it. I found some recipe. I found some. <laughs> I am. I found a vegan restaurant that we're going to today, and we're gonna sit in this car and we're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it. One eye, one big eye, one small eye. We need to be healthy now. Like I say, it, Donald's Donald's biggest problem is sweets. If he would let go of the sweets, he'd be. Five pounds, two ounces. If he quit eating <laughs> snacks, you know what I'm saying? Like snacks, he snacks. He's not a big eater. Y'all, you would be surprised. He's not a big eater, but he will snack you to death. Hey, y'all, after y'all finish watching this video, make sure y'all go on YouTube and look up uh, Parks and Recreation, the burger contest. Um, there's a guy on there who's vegan, and there's another guy there who's a huge meat lover and stuff. It is hilarious, but this whole conversation remind me of the bird contest. See, I didn't see that. <laughs> but I just, I just want us to be healthy. That's all I'm saying. Like some of the meat, like I bought chicken last week, and it was gel yeah. in the wind. I couldn't, I couldn't even cook it. Yeah. I couldn't even cook it because it was full of gel and stuff like that. And I'm like. Yeah. I can do the vegetarian thing. Maybe that's what we should do. We should go vegetarian and then into vegan. Yeah. But how, by the end of the year, we're either going to be vegetarian or we're going to be vegan. I'm going to either be vegetarian or pescatarian. I'm not going to be vegan. I'm going to have some pescatarian sort of means fish. Okay, I could do. That's what I meant to say. You're right. Oh. That's what my son is. He's a pescatarian. Okay. So he will eat fish, okay. you know, stuff like See? that. See, we had we had we have a compromise. I'm yeah, cool with that. Yeah. So, but by the end of the year, that's what we're going we're to be. be pescatarian. After we come off that cruise, because you, you, <laughs> you know when you go on the cruise, you got to have a guy. Now burger. I'm gonna tell you this: if you turn, if you go vegan, a vegetarian before the cruise, you're not gonna want to eat that. That food is gonna make you look, gonna make you feel disgusted. You're not even gonna want to eat the hot dogs and steaks. And but stuff. that's why I say you could do it in moderation. Okay. We need to. To be healthy like my mother could outrun me when she was 86 and I was in my 40s you hear what I'm saying so she would but my mother ate everything under the sun though but she walked between five and ten miles a day because she didn't want to be home all day so she would just get up and walk and catch the bus I think like that's all the big day, secret all is day. the amount of exercise stay at she was yeah she was very and, and my mother wasn't even a big eater she was a nibbler like she loved all you can eat buffets because what she would do is she would fill her plate with food and bite off of this and bite off it and then you look at it she throwing away more than she brought <laughs> so my mother was a nibbler she wasn't really an eater like that okay. and I'm just saying we need to be healthy. That's it. I'm not saying it for anybody else. I'm just saying it for us. We need to do that. So anyway, back to Tabitha Brown. This is where all this came oh, okay. from. So I was watching her because I'm in awe of her. I think she's an amazing lady, right? So I started watching her on Facebook. And so then I was watching something and then she popped up and she was eating this. Um, I want to say it was like a steak -um sandwich. Oh, sandwich. that's right, like, yeah. It looked like a Philly cheesesteak. That's what I want yeah. to say. It looked like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Yeah, I remember that. But one. she used jackfruit. Yeah. Right? Now, I have some of her seasonings already. So I'm, I was like, oh, all I need to do is go get me some coconut aminos and go get the jackfruit. And I could follow this recipe. And I was like, it looks so, so good. And I was like, I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try it. She made meat out of pecans, 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 and um, garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans, yep. And I was reading the comments, and the people were like, "This is the best meat you'll ever have. This is the best meat you'll ever. You can't tell that it's pecans. It tastes like that's because she seasoned it." real good yeah. right but not Seasoning only made that a it does but she was saying with the jackfruit it takes on the flavor of whatever seasoning you use and it's got good texture and it's got good texture and so i was like you know what i'm gonna make a meal this week i'm not gonna even tell donald what it is but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna try a ve something vegan today okay 
uh, now I found a vegan bakery because I know it's a bakery slash food place. Okay. It's in, it's where we live. Okay. And everybody, because I was watching TikToks and stuff like that, and I was like, now. I will try the food, but Donna will definitely try the baked goods. And I was like, so it's a win-win for both of us. Okay. So you can make a bread without milk or eggs? Apparently so. Okay. They use a lot of coconut flour and stuff like that. Hey, I'm game for one. They use oat milk, almond milk, you know, stuff like that. There's a workaround, but I'm going to tell you what. It is very expensive. I'd rather just eat salad. You ain't going to do it. He ain't gonna do it. He's I, not I, gonna do it. I would. He's not gonna do it. It's cheap. But anyway, cheese is I vegan. just, I just want no, to try it. Have. No, they, but they have plant-based cheese. Oh, okay. I saw some in there today. I almost bought it. Okay. I almost bought it. But when we go to Aldi's, I think I'm, cause Aldi's, uh, they've gone fresh vegetable, fresh produce, and all that. Cause Aldi's used to not have all of that stuff, but now they do. But so. Like I say, we're trying to be healthy, but we're going to go to this vegan restaurant. I just want to try it. I wasn't going to even tell him what it was. I was just going to go in and order something and let him taste it. Diabolical. But so, but that's how you got to be tricked. And then you're like, <laughs> and then you'll be like, wow, that's good. What is that? So anyway, fam, we ain't going to bore y'all with that a lot. But anyway, uh, we'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, fam. All righty. Down a brick road, click your heels and you'll be there. I want you. Do you want me to? All right, fam. So here is the menu. Donald has been thoroughly impressed. I'm trying to get it all on there. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I ain't mean to pick it up. So what do you want to try? Well, you try something. Give me a. I don't know. That Gouda burger sounds cool, but. How to make a burger? I guess it's gonna be pecan or is it Where you see it at though? It's on the on the wall. Let's look. So that was a nice place. I liked it in there. Nice little cozy little cafe style place. Yeah. Everybody was so helpful and, and kind friendly, and yeah. friendly. It's yes. just willing to explain everything, sharing tips and stuff. I mean like it's a community. Mm -hmm. Um it smelled good. I, I I first got it, I first before we walked in, I was like, oh, man, this place is going to make my stomach turn. But no, it smelled pretty good. So I'm looking forward to trying out some of the stuff. Right before we left, 
they had a walnut fudge brownie. And I said, what's in it? She's like, chocolate fudge. <laughs> That's I just, it. well, I will take one. Let me yeah. go ahead and throw it in the bag. Give me one of them. So like Peggy, like Peggy said, sweetness is my weakness, but uh, I ain't gonna eat the whole thing. All right, so it came with this nice little box. Now, let's see. It's a solid, solid, oh, solid fudge brownie. She said it was very dense. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to eat. Yeah. Oh, that sound hard. It's like a regular fudge brownie. Really? Mm hmm. But it's dense. I don't know what's all in it, but yeah, I'll take one of these. It's better than uh, what's that place you go get your coffee from? It's better than Starbucks. Is it? Yeah. This is a good fudge brownie. So I got, before we saw the brownies, I got these vegan cupcakes. They look amazing. So one is lemon mm -hmm. and one is German chocolate. So they look really, really good. Mm -hmm. Like I say, uh, eating a more healthy version of things costs a little more because these little things were $4.25 each. And his brownie was only $2.79. Exactly. I yeah. know y'all worried about DJ, but trust me, he eats before we eat. Exactly. He's good. He just We try to feed him first so he won't be on camera acting like he don't eat. But he still does it. But yeah, so we're just gonna, we're gonna share this uh, Philly cheese steak. Look at with, that. With truffle fries. Yeah. So. Well, can't really see the cheesesteak like that, but there it go, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Let's open up the bread so they can see inside. Uh -huh. There we go. Now you said this, this is jackfruit. Yes. So it is. <laughs> it is our first, our first uh, time attempting the jackfruit sensation. Oh, I forgot to pray. Amen. So it looks and Ooh. smells delicious. Well, it looks good. <laughs> it smells delicious. The fries are not bad. I'm not what? Good. Oh. They're not all bad is what I was trying to I say. I like these fries. They're like shoestring fries. See, I like shoestring fries. So I'm going to let you have the honors. Uh-uh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait a, I'm Wait a, a minute, My John. name ain't Mikey. Oh, let's get Mikey. He'll try anything. Some of y'all too young to remember that commercial. Listen, y'all, it's it's falling all over the place. I'm trying to stuff it back. She said, I'm going to let you have the otters. You're so funny. Can they give us a neck, huh? <laughs> Look at that. That's like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. That's the money shot. Mm -hmm. It's amazing you go into a vegan restaurant and everybody wants to give you a vegan history lesson yeah how it started what how long did. they've been doing and what, what their challenges were and stuff like that mm-hmm you say uh-huh mm-hmm let me tell you something The jackfruit, excuse me, is seasoned perfectly. Mm. It gives you the meat texture. This is good. Okay, I'll try it. I'll just get I'm a telling you, that is amazing. You have to think about it. For if you didn't know that it was jackfruit, if you didn't know that they told, 
If no one had told you that was jackfruit, you would have knew something was a little different, mm. but it's delicious. See, you could be a vegan. That's pretty good. No, that's very good. That's pretty good. You can tell it's different. It's got a whole lot more bell pepperiness to it. They use a lot of vegetables like onions, bell peppers. That's good. Way more than edible. I would definitely eat this again. Yeah. To me, like I said, it's very expensive because all the sandwiches were $15.90. The smallest amount, well, the cheapest sandwich was $15.95. But they all come with fries and they have, you can get garlic parmesan fries and stuff like that. Well, New York Ruben cost $35. Whoop. And they had people lined up for it. But they put like about a pound and a half of pastrami on it. In that place? No, no. In New York. In New York. Oh, oh, oh. A New York, a, in New York, a Ruben cost. You can't just come out and say that. <laughs> no. A New York Ruben cost $35. So $15 for a sandwich is not that much when you think about what people are paying for, for other sandwiches. It don't even come with fries. But I think that sandwich is ridiculously big, though. It would have to be big enough for two or three people. It's thick enough, but it's a, it's a regular sized bread. It's oh. just very thick. It's piled high with pastrami. Um, that's why. <laughs> $35 for a sandwich. But if I had to eat this every day, I could be vegan. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. If you learn how to cook this stuff, because you're going to get some jackfruit. It's, it's seasoned. It's overly seasoned. I'm going to yeah. say that. It's overly seasoned. I guess it's kind of like masking the, the veginess of it. Yeah. But very good. DJ want to say hi. Say hi to the fam, DJ. DJ say, I don't want to say nothing to them people. I want a bite of whatever that is. It's okay. vegan, DJ. You don't want that. You're not vegan. Look at him staring at the back of Peggy Nick. Well, he be, he be staring at you, boy. So, fam, we're going to go ahead and finish our lunch and everything. We, we're doing everything in the car today. We're going to finish our lunch, and we're going to call you right back, fam. All right. Good morning, family. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Uh, it is, it's not too early. I want to say it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. So I am about to make some avocado toast. And I'm cheating this time because I bought some avocados from Sam's the last time we were there. I bought some avocados. And after about that second day, I went in to eat the avocado and it was still hard. Wasn't quite ripe yet, right? So I forgot they were in there. And about five, six days later, they were so mushy, they were just not any good at all. So somebody, I saw somebody do a trick where they would put the avocados in water in the refrigerator so they could last longer. I wanted to try that, but I had forgot they were in the refrigerator, so I never got to use them. So anyway, when we were out yesterday, I picked up some avocados from, I didn't, I didn't get just the avocados. I got, uh, guacamole from I want to say it was one more yesterday I got some avocado I mean some guacamole and so I'm just going to use that for my avocado toast so that's what we're having for breakfast this morning and I'm going to go ahead and start getting that together so come on join me what's up fam Peggy's cooking so I'm, I'm in here trying not to bother her trying not to irritate her this morning. Now, I feel blessed because Pedro, obviously Pedro gave me some of that uh, pepper bacon she likes so much from H-E-B. Because that's the bacon she's frying up right now. And I know I'm getting a piece of this avocado toast, so this is my first time getting a piece of her bacon, for real. And it already smells good. So, it's daylight savings time, fam. I got this morning and it was like 7.15 on my phone. That never happens. 
I had to look around and then I realized, oh yeah, that's right. They moved, moved the clock an hour ahead. They was talking about not doing that anymore in Texas, but apparently it's still in effect. So we just see how that goes. Hey fam, so while my bacon is cooking, I'm gonna ask Donald to come over here and tend to the bacon and I'm gonna talk to y'all for a little bit, right? So these are the things that we got from the grocery store yesterday. I'm just gonna give y'all a mini grocery haul because like I say, we were only topping off our groceries. So I got me some Sara Lee Delightful Bread and I got this bread right here, this multi-grain, this is really good uh, for avocado toast. So that's what we're gonna use for our avocado toast this morning. And I got lime. I got two limes and then we, we were out of eggs. So I got eggs. Now I'm serious when I tell y'all, I'm gonna make me some pecan meat. So you're supposed to use the pecans with uh, chickpeas or gobanzo beans, whichever one you wanna call them. And then you're supposed to use this um, liquid smoke and you're supposed to use the browning sauce and some coconut aminos. So that's gonna be one meat, right? So I bought all this stuff for one meat. Well, you know I gotta have my hot sauce. I love this stuff. All right, so then for tuna, cause they say you can make your, your chickpeas taste like tuna. So uh, I got a second can to try it out and uh, I was out of complete seasoning because you'll need that with the chickpeas for the tuna. I got Donald some grits for breakfast and y'all know I love my juice, zero calorie, whatever, lightly salted chips. Uh, I got some beef broth. This will also go with the pecan meat and the uh, tuna. No, we use chicken flavor broth for that, so that'll be different. But then I got us some Raisin Bran Crunch. Donald and I both love this Raisin Bran Crunch. It is delicious. And we had to get Viva, listen, again, Viva Signature Cloth Selecta Size. It will change your life. Okay, I'm going to quit trying to say that, but every time I tell y'all about it, I just want to tell you about the goodness of it. And then we got tissue this time, right? Okay, so as I did that, Donald was over here burning the bacon. <laughs> and he, he all, he, Donald was over here burning the bacon. He always complains that I let the bacon cook too long, but that's okay, that's okay. No, go on and burn the bacon, I like it burning. Uh, no, we'll take it off. Uh-huh. <laughs> he burned the bacon this morning. Yeah, it, it, cooked, it cooked a little too long. As if I had nothing to do with it. It cooked too long. But I wouldn't say it's not like charcoal. <laughs> That's some good looking bacon. It is. But see, here's the thing. When I cook bacon like that, he's like, oh, you cooked it too long. Oh, you cooked it too long. Always, <laughs> always complaining. <laughs> That bacon look good. I feel pretty proud about that. I am not a cook, fam. When you see me in the kitchen, something is going terribly, terribly wrong somewhere. I just realized that we did not try the cupcakes on camera. Uh, we bought, we had already eaten our lunch and everything. Had already had a brown and so we waited quite a while before we tried the cupcakes. Um, I'm gonna say this. I don't, I'll let Peggy give her her own review of the cupcakes, but they tasted like regular cupcakes. The only difference, I felt like the consistency of the of the cupcakes was like cornbready. The way I would the way I would uh, remember cornbread tasting, I mean feeling, so like like thicker crumbs kind of thing, not really as, not really as like smooth or cakey as I would try to say, but lots of bigger crumbs and everything, but the taste was great and the frosting was fantastic. This is the guacamole I'll be using this morning. Again, I told you 
my avocados went bad, so I just got this just for something quick. See how nice and chunky that is? Over here, this one before. Is that from Aldi's or Walmart? Oh, it might be from Aldi's. I mean, I told you guys I got this from Walmart, but I actually got it from Aldi's. So this uh, guacamole has roasted corn, black beans, and tomatoes in it. So it might be pretty good. We'll let you know. will be yours. All right, fam, there you have it. Avocado toast with bacon and egg and everything seasoning, is it called seasoning? Everything but bagel seasoning. Everything but bagel seasoning. Oh. Okay, so this is better guacamole. And I love the peppery bacon. This is a much better little snack. Is the bread different too? So this is a lower calorie version of the bread that we always get. I always look for the grainy bread, like the 12, the 10, the 4, the, like the higher the grain, that's what I buy normally when I'm having avocado toast. But yeah, normally I just get the avocado and mix it with the everything, but the bagel seasoning, sesame seasoning blend, I, I normally get that and just mix those two together. But like I say, Avocado went bad, so we had to use the guacamole. And I like it this way better anyway to me. So, yeah, we, we're going to keep getting this one then, I guess, since Donald likes it. This is the best one, for real. This is the best. You, I've, I've always liked your um, guacamole toes. This is the best one by far. Maybe it's the bacon. Yeah. Maybe it's the bread. I don't know. Maybe it's guac. But this is the best one so far. Yeah, that's good. That's a little more seasoned. Mm -hmm. Now, when Donna was talking about the um, cupcakes, they were good, but they were really dense. Mm. They were really dense. You could tell that they were healthy cupcakes, but if you're living that lifestyle, they will satisfy your sweet tooth if that's what you needed to do, right? I want to say that I feel like they use something like coconut flour mm -hmm. or some kind of gluten-free flour when they made. You could tell it had flour in it because I, we asked her and she didn't want to give away her secret. You know, I'm oh. like, what is, what is in this? And she was just like, fudge. I'm like, but what else? And what else? <laughs> and she was just like, oh, just fudge. Oh. And I was like, okay, because clearly you had chocolate chips and nuts <laughs> and stuff like that in there. But okay, <laughs> I get it though. I, I wasn't really thinking, you know. Because I guess she figured you could figure out her recipe if she tell you everything mm -hmm. in there. So anyway, that was that. All right, fam. So I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. I'm going to have my breakfast toast. And then uh, one more thing, and then we're going to wrap it up. So the other day, Donald come home, and I'm trying to hide the box and everything. But I couldn't hide what I bought in the box, right? I bought me an indoor treadmill. Because they've been going wild on TikTok. I, I need to stay off TikTok because I'm spending a lot of money. But anyway, this is just a portable uh, treadmill. You know, because what sold me was they were like, well, you can use it while you're watching your TV programs. And it slides up under your bed. And it actually does. It comes with a remote control for you to control, you know, how fast you want to walk and stuff like that. And so I was on it the other day. And once you get used to walking on it, uh, 
it'll take, because, you know, you feel like you want to hold on to something. But when you're on a treadmill, you shouldn't be holding on to anything anyway. But anyway, it just makes you feel like you want to hold on to something. And you kind of get a little, you know, sidetracked a little bit. I don't want to say dizzy because I wasn't dizzy. But, you know, you kind of get kind of sidetracked a little bit. And so I'm going to show it to y'all. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the remote and everything. And if you're interested in it, I bought it off Amazon. Actually, I saw it on TikTok, but I bought it off Amazon. It was the same brand because, you know, that stuff off TikTok comes straight from China. And I was like, I don't want to have to worry about trying to return it all the way back to sender if it doesn't work like that. So that's why I got mine off of Amazon. So if you're interested in it, the link will be in the description box, just in case you're interested. But yeah, so I'm going to show you the treadmill and I'm going to show you how easy it's. They say it slides under a sofa, but our sofa is just so low to the ground. It cannot, but it could go up under the bed if you wanted it to. And I, I mean, I'm not going to show you that part because you could just kind of figure it out. If you have more than four inches up under your bed, it will fit. And so I'm going to show you how I've been doing it. And yeah, your girl trying to get healthy. <laughs> All right, fam. So I'm going to call y'all right back. All right. All right, family. So um, I'm, this apartment is kind of small, especially since I added the table. So I just put the treadmill right here in the hallway. And as you can see, the TV is right there. And so while I'm catching up on my TV shows, I'm standing right here, walking on the treadmill. And so it comes with this little remote, super cute, right? And get it started, right? And you can tell it how fast you want to go and stuff like that. So as you see, it's going faster and faster and then you stop it whenever you're ready to stop. And when I want to get off, I just, you know, take it all the way down get off of it. It's a super cute apartment size uh, treadmill. So let me show you. I'm going to get on it for a minute. So I'll just turn it on. And I'll take it. Pretty, I'm a pretty fast walker, but I'm not going to walk super fast on this. Just It'll tell you how many calories you're burning and how fast you're walking and how far you're walking. So this is what I'm doing for Women's Health Month. <laughs> but I like this little thing. See, I'm used to it now because when I first got on it, I felt like I was going to fall on the sides. And they do have some that have the arms that come up if you just really need it. But... Uh, you really won't need it. So, yeah. I can't run and talk at the same time. It ain't running, but you know what I mean. But anyway, I like this thing. So with all of that being said, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog. <laughs> so remember to get out there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well. And for others as well. All right, fam. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.